us a show. We're above average people. Attempt above average stunts. Seeking the ultimate thrill. Only to find fail after fail after fail. They do it for the excitement. They do it for the rush. They do it because they're just plain dumb. It's 20 of the most exciting, daring, and stupidly sensational clips. Featuring heart-racing hilarity from our cast of celebrity panelists. Are you getting this? True TV presents World's Dumbest Thrill Seekers. The action starts right now. In Konakova, Russia, a young base jumper prepares to leap from the top of a transmission tower. You have to get just right at the exact point on ledge here. Come on, you know you're not fit for this. You're shaking like a bitch. Okay, let me just collect myself and relax a bit. He's definitely got the standing there looking nervous thing down pat. Okay, and one. Three. Now that's how you make a snow angel. He f nailed that landing. Was this parachute made by the Acme Company by any chance? And with that, this man ended his base jumping career. I'm not saying I have better friends than this guy, but if my apparent death happened before them, I would get an audible reaction. At least a heavy sigh. In Russia, cameraman showed no emotion. Miraculously, the man survives, though he fractures his vertebrae, legs, and pelvis. I imagine that he composed a haiku on the way down. White snow fills vision. Parachute will not open. Brown poop fills pants. Out. Our countdown power slides over to Rochester, New York, where a skater attempts to ollie over a grass divider. Yeah, here we go. An ollie is like literally the first thing you learn on a skateboard. If you haven't nailed the ollie, don't start filming stuff yet. Hey, let's try it just once with a helmet on, just to mix it up. Nope, all right, sorry, I'm new to the group. This is the one, this is the one. Son of a bitch! Sorry. Most people say three strikes and you're out. Lucky for us that this guy's not most people. Oh my god, this is it! This is it. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Oh! It's like they say, practice makes paralysis. You have to admire the dedication of the stupid. This is it! This was oh, it! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Couldn't they have said something other than whoa, 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 whoa? Whoa, 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 whoa! Like, hey, there's a van coming? Or just van? Oh my god! Why did the skateboarder cross the road? He didn't. This is the worst day ever. Just got fired from my job. My van's gonna get repossessed. My wife left me. I just don't think today could get any. Whoa! Oh my god! Holy <laughs> Amazingly, the skater is not seriously injured. Anytime someone is in an auto accident, it's tragic. But when a skateboarder is in an auto accident, it's a little less tragic. Oh my god! Holy <laughs> We briefly pause the countdown as World's Dumbest Thrill Seekers presents... Wait for it! These two Russian thrill seekers have decided to take their love of fishing to the next level. With a grenade. Wait for it. Wait a minute! 
Wait for it. Just give us a moment. Wait for it. Go. Go. We now return you to your regularly scheduled countdown. So I'm just kind of exploring. A bunch of thrill-seeking hikers go off their regular path to do a little rock climbing. Look at that rock right there. It's our next destination on the way. That isn't the hanging rock. No, the hanging rock would have people. It's also facing Pilot Mountain when we're not facing Pilot Mountains that way. Way in there. Wow! It sounds like this guy is a real expert on being annoying. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back up. We're we're really close to the car, by the way. Where's Pilot Mountain now there, buddy? Can you point it out still? We're, we're really close to the car, by the way. On the bright side, he landed even closer to the car. How far did I fall? 15 feet. Oh, my. Oh, my God. It's the face of fear. And the face of narcissism. That's the clue. My neck hurts like bad. I probably got whiplash. I really feel like I did. Mitch suffers minor bumps and bruises. His ego, however, remains intact. And he's back at the gym in a few days. All right. So I had to get back in. I got clearance from the doctor, so I got to get back in the gym. I'm a little stiff, but you know what I'm saying? It's just, it just helps me out. It's good to see that you've healed up and you're back to your standard douche ways. The true thrill seeker of this clip is the gentleman behind him. Seeking the thrill of total apathy. So I'm just kind of exploring. Coming up, thrill seeking hillbilly style. Can ATVs really fly? Yeah! Plus, who will win in the battle of man versus car? Yeah. Find out when World's Dumbest Thrill Seekers continues. In the backwoods of Uloga, Oklahoma, some thrill seekers have gathered to ride their ATVs. All right, we just told this kid we'd give him 10 bucks if he'd get through this. I don't know who he is. 10 bucks? That's two packs of Marlboros and a handy from my sister. You're on. <laughs> I wish I lived in a state where people took this much joy from a trench of mud. No, I don't. The ATV is towed from the ditch, and he makes a second attempt. I'll be honest, man. We all knew this would not work. We just love watching you crash. We're going to try again, isn't it? They say the third time is a charm, and I think we're in for something good here. Here it goes. Good job, my video. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. Did you break your collarbone? Hot it. <laughs> a broken collarbone covered in mud. It's what I call a redneck Sunday. What's your name? Tom uh, White. Where are you from? There we go. Oklahoma. Just search your name on YouTube next week. All right. Does he look like a dude who owns a computer? I'm gonna run under a river and wash her off. Get your hat? Yeah, he got it. And that concludes this month's meeting of the Oluga Mensa chapter. Next on our Dumb Thrill Seekers Countdown, Swooping, a dangerous trick performed by experienced skydivers. Bring it home, baby! Where they use their feet to skim the ground and slow down for a safe landing. Isn't jumping out of a plane crazy enough? You had to try and do a weird landing, too? At number 16, this thrill seeker has decided to practice his swooping. Yeah! Oh! 
I'd be swooping up the crap in my pants if I had to try this. Oh, this is amazing! This is amazing! Oh, God, damn it! Beautiful! Oh, yeah! Wow, I can see my house from here. And look, way, way, way further in the distance, I can see the hospital. Here we go! Swoop it, baby! Swoop it! Okay, a little fast. Come a little hot. Come a little hot. I want to slow down. Come a little hot. A little hot. Oh, legs don't bend like that. Legs don't bend like that. Swoop it, baby. Swoop it. Woo! I think this might be a little less horrible with some funny sound effects. Can we try it that way? <laughs> no? Easy with the medical talk, egghead. It's called a leg. The skydiver breaks all three bones in his leg. I'm just impressed he knew the word femur right away. That means either A, he's smarter than he looks, or B, he's broken that specific bone before. I'm gonna go with B. And now it's time for the Thrill Seekers edition of that's nuts. Ah, uh, Jimmy! Hey, you can totally do this. You got it, dude. Hey? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah! That! Oh! 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 <laughs> that was nuts. Thanks for watching. Our countdown of idiotic thrill seekers cruises to a skate and bike park in Allen, Texas, where Ross attempts to impress his friends with his tricks. Yeah! Woo! Ross! Yeah, baby! Get it done! <laughs> Man, this guy's pretty good. It's a shame you know he's on the show because he's about to experience a monumental failure. God, arms are out. That's never good. It looked like the most amazing BMX robot just suddenly powered down. Oh my God. Ross, Ross, Ross. Come on, Ross. Ross, come on, buddy. Okay, uh, snort like a pig if you feel fine. Ross! Ross, Ross come on! Ross. They're doing all the right things. They're saying his name, patting his chest, and staring at him. Nothing more you can do. Ross! Ross! You're late for school. Ross! This may well be the funniest seizure we've ever had on the show. EMTs arrive, and Ross is treated for multiple broken fingers and a lacerated cheek. It's gotta be a safer way to look cool. How about smoking? We now leap to Cape Town, South Africa, where an amateur stuntman is about to attempt a standing jump over a moving car. We don't get too many clips from Africa, and then the first one we get... It's white dude. You know, we've never done this before, but we're bored and life is cheap here. One, two, three, four. <sighs> there you go, buddy. Get nice and limber before getting hit by a car. All right, here we go. <laughs> And that is why you still have the word amateur in front of stuntman. He sounded like a pumpkin hitting a mailbox. I love the surprise. Like, he never considered driving the car straight at his friend could ever end like this. You don't get it. Bye. No. No. It's hard to feel for a white kid from South Africa. His family started apartheid and diamond mining. <laughs> Is there nothing broken on you? I don't think so. You must yeah. look at this. 
amazing. It's like brutal, dude. This is what happens when parents make their kids play outside. Lesson learned. One, two. Hey. Coming up. Watch out for that. Plus, you gotta get it. a new meaning for the word horny. You don't scare me. And the epic return of hey, the Croc Hunter. Come on. When world's dumbest thrill seekers continues. Want more info on the show? Yeah. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash world's dumbest for exclusive behind the scenes updates about and from your favorite cast members. Dan's gonna put his hand in the gator's mouth. Wait a minute, what's that, what's that? Come on, man, you got a big crowd. For number 13 on our countdown of dumb thrill seekers, we head to Ohio, where Dan, the alligator wrangler, is performing a sideshow at the Cuyahoga County Fair. They don't want us. How about a guy you want to see Dan put his hand in the gator's you mouth? You want to see me do that? Okay. Me too. I want to say don't stick your arm in a gator's mouth. Is that crazy? He'll put his hand in there. Yep. He'll touch the bottom jaw. Yep. And he'll try to get his hand out for the jaw snapshot. Okay. If you have a camera, go ahead, get him out. Focus on one of the oh. gator's mouth. Children, what you're about to see will haunt your nightmares till the day you die. So make sure mom and dad take pictures for your photo album. You might see an awesome picture of Dan's hand inside the gator's mouth. Hopefully not stuck. Hopefully he won't get it stuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. We like to joke around here about really specific stuff that might happen. Hello, sweetie. Hello. That's how those jaws work, folks. Give him a nice big round of applause. Thank you. He's going to go ahead and catch the alligator for you, yep. folks. He's got one or two ways to do this. One way is approach the gator from the front. Get his head back. Get his jaws back. Get his jaws What I gotta love about the Cuyahoga County Fair is when their alligator wrestlers promise you a great photo, they deliver. Bad boy, bad boy, open up, open up. Bad boy, bad boy, open up, open your mouth, let him go, let him go, come on. I don't think tapping him on the snout is working. How about some chicken? You want some chicken? Huh? Huh? Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. I really loved that bloodthirsty little girl in the purple dress right, right by the fence. Chicks love to see guys getting punished for doing stupid. Yeah. All right, there we go. There we go. All set. All set. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Well, folks, these things happen. Dan's gonna go get some medical care. Oh my God. Come to the Cuyahoga County Fair, where fried dough and dismemberment go hand in hand. And now a postscript with Frank Stallone. Stupid, dumbass people. It's a crocodile. It's a prehistoric animal. What would you stick your head in an alligator's mouth for? I don't feel bad, so like when I see crocodile shoes or like you know, these shoes like this, I, that's where snakes are supposed to be, on my feet. If I can get laid wearing these boots, that python was well served. That was a postscript with Frank Stallone. A Swiss snowboarder films his attempt to conquer an expert slope on California's Mammoth Mountain. Okay, I'm going down the Mammoth Mountain right now. This is a very difficult slope, so be sure that a half of your attention is focused on fiddling with a camera. What you are seeing now, most people will never experience that. That's a shame because you're... nothing says pay attention more than a tree. That's a shame because you're... I can't stand snowboarders. They think they own the whole mountain. Within minutes, medics arrive on the scene. I feel not, dude. All right, I'm gonna put like bandages and a mask on you, okay? Oh, I could, dude. Okay. Yeah. What kind of insurance does this guy have? He's getting way better health care on the side of a mountain than I've had in my whole life. All right, check it out. Is he secure? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. All right, dude. Yeah. It's a good thing his friends kept filming so they could preserve his embarrassing failure forever. <laughs> The snowboarder is taken to the hospital, where he's treated for a concussion, broken ribs, and a fractured eye socket. 
Most people will not experience this. So that's what a fractured eye socket looks like? Cool, man. Cool. This is why I just sit in the lodge with a cup of cocoa and some porno. For many thrill seekers, the inherent dangers of dirt biking are worth the risk. Today, Mike and his dad are enjoying some quality time riding their dirt bikes when something goes horribly wrong. I'm way ahead of you, Dad! Are you still recording? I want to make sure my insensitivity is captured forever on video. I'm going to take your helmet. Uh -huh. He's got his rant stuck in his helmet. Be careful. Oh, your lips are bleeding too. Oh, oh. oh, come on, Mike. Stop being such a baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Buddy, you got something right here. This is gnarly. Nature, man. This is why I don't recycle. How far in is it? Uh, I have to get my finger in there to find out. Stick your finger in your mouth. Does it go all the way through? What kind of helmet lets a stick get stuck in your face? Can't be on it. Can you see the truck back here? Uh, we don't have that much further to go. Uh, I can't ride. Oh, you can't? Come on, dude. Don't be such a stick in the mud or in the face or whatever. Mike eventually gets to the hospital and receives 24 stitches. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but please don't shove a stick into my face. Oh, my goodness. And now that's going to leave a mark. It's gonna leave a mark. At number 10, it's the annual Paio Pires Fiesta in Portugal. And this female thrill seeker decides to test her courage against a bull. That is one brave woman. And when I say brave, I mean crazy. Never tell a drunk person to take the bull by the horns when there's an actual bull around. Drunk people are very literal. No, no, scare me. Okay, okay, okay. This woman looks like she's no stranger to being boned in the street. Okay, bull, you want it? You come and get it! Here it is! Here it is for you! Thong has never looked sexier. I'm about to dig my horns into that rump. That's what you get for sexually harassing a bull. If she came at me like that in the bar, I'd do the same thing. Headbutt that bitch and get the f up out of there. The woman finally surrenders and luckily suffers no injuries. Nine months later, that woman gave birth to a minotaur. Half bull, half man, entirely Portuguese. Coming up, what goes up? And a wipeout so brutal, oh my God. Oh my God. it reduces this young man to... Oh, my, oh my mommy. Uh, and later, find out what happened to these adrenaline junkies when World's Dumbest Thrill Seekers continues. Now you can experience dumb like never before with the World's Dumbest app. It's the best videos whenever you want them. It's free on your phone or tablet. Use the app while you watch the show. Take dumb to a whole new level. Go to the App Store and download it now.
On a brisk afternoon in Ontario, Canada, some young thrill seekers prepare to perform a stunt they call the human sandwich. This is gonna be so awesome. Yeah, it's gonna really hurt. It's gonna really hurt. I suppose this was inevitable when um, God made uh, mattresses and fluorescent tubes and houses. I mean, it was really just a matter of time before somebody put all those things together. Good? He's ready. I see two of everything. Hey, here's a good time to call a stun off. Ready? This is the downside of universal health care. <laughs> no, oh I, I was my so goodness. <laughs> when you turn, it's like, that's so high. That's ridiculous. Oh. You didn't think you'd do it? You invited people over, decided to film it, and climbed down to the roof of your house. You must surprise yourself a lot. You look like a cut. There's blood on you. There's some blood. Oh, so your elbow? Oh, your elbow's cut. Oh, you... And your hand's cut for some reason. What the heck? Hey, don't worry, guys. I'm sure most of the bleeding is internal. That was amazing. How, like, he jumped so high, he's like... <laughs> Man, I was watching him, so I was like... Let's stop sucking each other's <laughs> You just jumped off a roof and hit some light bulbs. And... <laughs> Swap out the mattresses for girls. Get rid of the glass and the dude up top, and then we'll talk, huh? And oh, oh man! Meet ah! our next dumb thrill seeker, Brian, an aspiring skateboarder who likes to perform for the camera. His next trick: a five stair handrail grind. Stop trying this move. Nobody does it without traumatic results. <laughs> oh, my Christ! Oh, my God! Ah! Oh, my God! Ah! It wasn't even that bad of a fall and he broke like a sparrow. <laughs> oh, my Christ! Oh, my God! Go down one! Go down one! The fisheye effect doesn't have the same kind of pizzazz to it when you're just sitting there crying on the ground. Go down one! Go down one! Are you f***ing oh, 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 my god! Oh 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 my god! What do we do? Dance around him screaming! <laughs> Dude! Ew! Oh my god! Oh, this hurts so bad! Should I call your mom or not? Yes, my mom! <laughs> God, your wrist looks like a vulture's neck. It's just all oh, inky. This is like my Oh, yeah, I saw um, Terry there. I broke uh, my wrist. Brian broke his wrist. It's oh, pretty dude. bad. Oh, We're in you. the back of the apartments. Well, did you boys say, oh my God, oh my God, a bunch? Oh my God. Oh my well, God, then, oh my God, oh my God. I don't know what else to tell you. I think he'll be fine. I don't want to come over right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my mommy. Uh, yeah, it's bleeding. Just so you know, when you heal up, we're going to start busting your balls for saying you want your mommy. For now, it's okay. Brian's mother eventually arrived and took him to the hospital. This is the worst day of my life. Actually, Brian, this isn't the worst day of your life. It's the worst day of your life so far. <laughs> There's just something about a swimming pool that unleashes the inner idiot in some people. <laughs> like at this public pool in the Caribbean. <laughs> First of all, there's no topless swimming, m'lady. This young thrill seeker has substituted a chair for a diving board. I'm going to get up on this big box. I'm going to get up on this big Hey, 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 put the chair down. You, you know what? Forget that. I'm going I'm to allow this. Go ahead, swimmer. You may proceed. Now you watch here. You learn from me. <laughs> you know, this may get me into trouble, but I guess it's true what they say about black people. Uh, some of them are overweight. Does anyone want to check on him? Make sure he's... No, we're just going to keep laughing hysterically. 
Okay. All right. It's a cultural difference. <laughs> It's amazing how the compromised integrity of a chair can lead to the broken integrity of a man. You learn from me! Oh. At number six, it's time for yet another BMX thrill seeker. This time at a skate park in Sacramento, where Colton Satterfield attempts his signature move. There go my teeth. All right, bro. Yeah. And just like that, some lucky dentist just put his kids through college. And you know he doesn't have dental insurance because his job is bike trick specialist. There go my teeth. All right, bro. Yeah. Oh. Did he seriously just knock his teeth out while wearing a t-shirt of a picture of teeth? Isn't that the definition of irony? It's like if a fire truck catches on fire. I think that's irony. Oh my god, bro. Oh, what the f How did that happen? I'll tell you how it happened. You're a white teenager with a bicycle. Does it look good? Does it look good? <laughs> I mean, in what context? Holy f***. Bomb the broke teeth because it makes you look such a, like, you know, if I could say anything to cheer you up, Colton, you look like a piece of beforehand. So I try to put this back in? Is that what I hear? Can you just stick that back in? They're not Lego pieces. Just stick it back in. Woo. That's my motto. We're good, yeah, It looks like you didn't have anything happen. Take that thing back in, popped it right in. It's pretty damn loose, but okay. at least I don't look like a hillbilly. I can still get laid right now. Sweetheart, You're gonna suck when he wakes up in the morning choking on it. There go my teeth. Coming up, blindfolded on a tightrope over a hundred feet in the air. What could possibly go wrong? Plus, okay, I'm gonna go, go, go. You know this isn't going to end well. And what's got everybody at this bar so excited? Find out when World's Dumbest Thrill Seekers continues. It's always enjoyable to spot a dumb thrill seeker in its natural habitat. At a junkyard in New Jersey, this man is having a little fun with an excavator. Oh, me up, man. Woo! It. Oh. man, this place has got it all. An excavator, junked cars, a skydiving school, a portable toilet. It's like a like a hillbilly Disneyland. If any of you ladies are thinking about dating this guy, I would just warn that being barefoot in the junkyard is a red flag. The redneck Cirque du Soleil is in town. He's giving you a Ah! That looked really fun until that smashy part. Ah! He's hurt. He's hurt. No, he's hurt. I think we all suspected this guy had no underwear on. It's nice to have it confirmed. Hey, dude, are you okay? Hey. Are you okay, bro? Dude, are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, dude, are you okay? Talk to us, man. No, Talk dude, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, no, he's not responding to any of our dudes or bros. Quick, try to call him homie. He's hurt. No, he's fine. He's fine. I don't know if I would say he was fine. Nice damn lot. Yeah, I was looking. He suffers a mild concussion, but is able to walk away. This clip had profanity. He's giving you a an injury ah. and surprise nudity. It's basically the world's dumbest trifecta. If it took place in Russia, this would be like the ultimate world's dumbest clip. Ah. And now it's time for Oh sh Run, Joe, run! This has been Bo.
In the world's dumbest capital, also known as Russia, a young thrill seeker is about to perform a stunt. Okay, you're in shorts and a t-shirt in snow. My first guess, drugs are involved. This may be the only time that an oversized Kansas t-shirt is the nicest part of somebody's outfit. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This was actually voted top playground in all of Russia. Okay, another cold one. Go, go. If only the ground were further away, he would have nailed that. Go, go. Turns out that last quarter rotation's kind of important. I like how after the accident, he skipped the first couple of motions and went straight to depression. He's good. Between the frozen tundra and his face, his fall was broken. When it comes to mechanical bulls, you know what you're gonna get. Somebody gets on, somebody falls off. Except in the case of our next clip, which takes place in a bar in Brazil. I don't know if this means that she's terrible or amazing at bull riding. Oh my god. We'd have to eat like four slices of cheesecake to get over how embarrassing this is. Let's get it up for the bull rider! Oh, congratulations! What a wonderful feat. Why are we clapping? Got him! for the bull he had a good run a lot of girls worked out their desperate need for attention on that thing yeah. hey, hey, hey miss you are something else huh who's taking her home tonight nobody that's what i thought in china an acrobat attempts to cross a 2300 foot long tightrope backwards blindfolded and without a harness or safety net. That's it? You're not gonna set yourself on fire too? That's weak. Easy, <clears throat> easy. This isn't a stunt, this is a cry for help. Look, he sat down again. Union break. Come on, you can do this. Here we go. Step by step. One step after another. No, no, no. Due to the graphic nature of the footage, the Chinese government has banned it from being shown. Step after another. Guess what, guys? This is really hard. Way more difficult than I thought. No, no, no. The acrobat falls 132 feet to the ground. Miraculously, he is not seriously injured. How do we know that they didn't just replace him with a different Chinese guy? They've got the numbers to do that. This is why I, I fear for the future of this country. I don't know how we can compete with indestructible people. Coming up, our number one moment. Find out what happens when these thrill seekers encounter a nautical nightmare. When world's dumbest thrill seekers continues. Our number one dumb thrill seekers are heading out on the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. You really can tell this is a group where fun times are ahead. Look, 
You got the titties on the boat? What are you trying to prove? I can see she's complaining about a broken nail. Oh, you have no idea what's about to happen, lady. Hey, little broken nail doesn't hurt so much anymore does it have you ever seen seven people all get bitch slapped simultaneously <laughs> now you have hey uh Pete, can you uh are you there can you read me wow can we see that again in super slow mo That was awesome! Well, as you can see, everything ended in fun and games and laughs. Nobody was hurt. Just kidding, everybody got hurt. The passengers all sustained minor injuries. The driver suffers a broken leg and wrist. If you just watch the very end, it looks like they had the greatest night of their life. But they didn't. Lord, I ask you to take me by the hand and help me to ridicule the injured that I may collect a small check and continue my life in Hollywood. Roll it. Hey! Whoa. Oh. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, no! Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Good job.